Welcome to our comprehensive video tutorial on getting started with Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython programming. In this tutorial, we will cover the installation of MicroPython on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Programming the build in LED using the Thony IDE. Reading the ADC value from a 10K potentiometer. We will also demonstrate how to use an OLED display and 10K potentiometer to read the ADC value. And interfacing with multiple I2C sensors and displays such as the 0.96 inch I2C OLED display, BME280 sensor, MPU6050 sensor. Interface the OLED display with the built-in temperature sensor on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And display temperature, humidity, and pressure values on the OLED display using the BME280 sensor. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay is a leading online PCB manufacturing and SMB service provider. They offer high-quality PCBs at competitive prices and provide excellent customer service. PCBWay can help you bring your electronic projects to life. So, if you are looking for a reliable PCB supplier, be sure to check out PCBWay.com. And don't forget to check the link provided in the description for a special discount on your first order. So, without further delay, let's get started. Installing MicroPython on the Raspberry Pi Pico In this step, we will show you how to install MicroPython on the Raspberry Pi Pico. We will be using the Thony ID for this purpose. First, you will need to download the MicroPython firmware for the Raspberry Pi Pico from the official website. Once the firmware is downloaded, push and hold the boot shell button on the Pico and then immediately connect the Pico to your computer using a micro USB cable. Release the boot shell button once the RPI RP2 drive appears on your computer. Now drag and drop the UF2 file onto the RPI and RP2 drive. The Raspberry Pi Pico will reboot and will now run MicroPython. After following these steps, you will be ready to start programming the Pico using MicroPython. Download and install Thony from thony.org. In the Thony IDE, go to Tools Options and click on the Interpreter tab. From the Interpreter drop-down list, select MicroPython Raspberry Pi Pico. Leave the Port drop-down menu set to Auto Detect. Then connect the Raspberry Pi Pico board. This will automatically detect the firmware and install it on the Raspberry Pi Pico. Step 2. Programming the build in LED. In this step, we will show you how to program the build in LED on the Raspberry Pi Pico using the Thony ID. First, this code uses the machine module spin class to control the onboard LED on GPIO25. It sets the LED to be initially off, then enters a loop that repeatedly toggles the LED on and off, and waits for one second before toggling again. Step 3. Reading the ADC value from a 10K potentiometer. In this step, we will show you how to read the ADC value from a 10K potentiometer connected to GPIO pin 28 on the Raspberry Pi Pico. First, we will need to import the necessary library by typing import machine. Next, we will set the pin number for the potentiometer by typing analog underscore value equals to machine.adc28. Finally, we will write a simple program to read the ADC value from the potentiometer by typing reading equals to analog underscore value dot read underscore u16 and print it on the cell. Step 4. Interfacing with multiple I2C sensors and displays. In this step, we will show you how to interface with multiple I2C sensors 
and displays such as 0.96 inch I2C OLED display, BME 280 sensor, and MPU6050 sensor on GPIO pins 21 and 20 on the Raspberry Pi Pico. The code then scans the I2C bus and stores the addresses of any devices it finds in the device's variable. Then check the length of the device's variable. If it's zero, it prints no I2C device. Else it prints the number of devices found. Then it iterates through the device's variable and prints the decimal address and hexadecimal address of each device that is connected to the I2C bus. This is useful for identifying the connected I2C devices on a board and their addresses. In this case, the I2C address of the OLED display is 60, which in hexadecimal is 0 cross 3C. The I2C address of the MPU6050 is 104, which in hexadecimal is 0 cross 68. The I2C address of the BME280 is 118, which in hexadecimal is 0 cross 76. Displaying ADC value on OLED display. In this step, we will show you how to display the ADC value read from the 10K potentiometer on the OLED display. We will first read the ADC value using the potentiometer object created in step 3. Then use the SSD1306.py library to display the value on the OLED display. Step 6. Interfacing OLED display with built-in temperature sensor. In this step, we will show you how to interface the OLED display with the built-in temperature sensor on the Raspberry Pi Pico. We will use the temperature sensor object provided by the MicroPython library to read the temperature value. Then use the SSD1306.py to display the temperature value on the OLED display. This simple program helps to display the temperature value on the OLED display. Step 7. Displaying temperature, humidity and pressure values on OLED display. In this step, we will show you how to display the temperature, humidity and pressure values on the OLED display using the BME280 sensor. We will use the BME280.py library to read the temperature, humidity and pressure values. Then use the SSD1306.py display library to display the values on the OLED display. This simple program can be useful for a weather station project. You can find all the MicroPython code and diagrams with explanations on our website. I will attach the link in the description. We have covered a lot in this tutorial and have shown you how to get started with the Raspberry Pi Pico using MicroPython programming. We hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you now have a better understanding of how to work with the Raspberry Pi Pico, MicroPython and various I2C sensors and displays. Thank you for watching.